just talk about how we actually get them to understand what party means. In the beginning, it's quite simple. Uh, if you're already bought with your bird, you kind of already know how long your bird you know, can hold it before they actually go to the washroom. For a conure, it's about 15 minutes, I like to say. Uh, when she was younger, it was like 5 to 10 minutes, but now that she's like 2, 3 years old, she's getting to that about 15 minute mark. So, once you understand that, um, every 15 minutes or so, you can put her on a spot that you want her to go. So, for example, uh, with her, it's this little twisty thing. So, I'm going to put it there, and I'm going to wait. This is the beginning step, okay? She already is more advanced than this, but I'm pretending time go backwards. So, imagine she's brand new, she doesn't know anything about potty. I'm going to put her in a spot, and I'm going to wait. Once I see that she has a body language, she's about to go. I'm going to cue in the word that I want to use, which in this case, I'm going to say, get busy. So that's her word. But right now, she doesn't really want to go because the video just started, so she probably already went not long ago. But that's basically the first step. You find out how long your bird actually takes before they go. You put her in a spot, you wait. You patiently wait. Since she can hold it for 15 minutes, I'm really not going to do it. I'm just going to tell you what the step involved. So, let's just say she's about to go. You're going to use the word immediately, get busy, right, when she's going. Once she's done, you said get busy, you're going to give her a treat. One of her favorite treats, let's just say, for her, is a sunflower seed. But for some birds, maybe fruits, maybe a little bit of juice. It could be just depend on what you want. Once that happens, you're just going to keep repeating that process. Keep waiting for her to go wash him. When she does, give her a treat. Keep waiting for her, give her a treat. Once she's starting to understand where you want her to go, and she's going it pretty much, you know, you are pretty good at predicting where, uh, what time she'll go, you got to ask for it, right? you got to ask her to go to the washroom just by saying the cue word. Once she get that part, then the rest is easy. You go further and further away from that location. So right now I'm standing right beside her and waiting for her to go. But then after she get really good at it, I mean, just sit in the chair and ask her to go there by herself. Now, my bird's a flight trained, so she can actually fly to this spot by herself. So if your bird is not flight trained, you need to, you know, figure out a way where he can just walk to the spot himself. You can't expect them to potty train, you know, to go to a spot that you want them to go potty when they can't even, you know, get to that spot without any kind of, you know, way to fly or any kind of way to get to it. So, you know, it's kind of realistic because they, if they set it on your shoulder and their bird doesn't fly, the perch is like, you know, five feet away and she can't just walk over on a rope or something, she's gonna party on you because she got really no choice, or she's gonna party on your sofa and whatnot, right? She's gonna pick a spot that she can go that is not you because you told her not to go on you, but she doesn't, he can't, you know, if he can't get to a spot, then it's unrealistic. So those are the things I'll, I'll encourage you to think about. First of all, where can I hang out with my member can actually go? Is my bird flight trained that she can just go on her own or do I have to figure out a way to make a bridging mechanism that they can go to a spot that they want to go? For a lot of people, it's a lot uh, simpler. Like they set it up because my bird flight train, right? So they can just fly to this particular spot themselves. But for a lot of people, it may be a lot simpler. Maybe just putting a garbage can beside a chair, right? And then if they potty right beside a chair, go right into the garbage can. In fact, you can't see in the video, but my garbage can is actually right underneath this perch. So every time she goes, it literally just go right into the garbage. It's so much easier for me to clean and everything. Can you get busy? Well, you're not, you're not really feeling it right now. Can you get busy, Pika? Yeah, I really don't think she could because she had nothing in her. She hasn't ate much, so. Okay, we try. Step up. That's a good bird. So that's it. Recap. First step. Figure out how long she goes. Put her there. Wait. Say the keyword the second she does it. Give her a treat. Second step. Put her on a spot that you want her to go when she already understands the keyword and ask her to go. When she does, give her a treat. Last step, they you f move further and further away from them and they either go to that spot themselves and you you know you you ask them to go potty, give them a treat there. Then you can you know go from that point and make sure that they keep doing it. But that's about it. It's really not that hard once you get your bird bonded to you. Now. If your bird, let's just say, you know, is having a tough day or just not listening today, don't get frustrated. Just like anybody, some, some even a person, even an expert of any field, if they're not having a good day, they're not going to perform as well, right? Just even a, you know, the basketball player, you know, or any kind of sport, even they're the best player in the entire game, some days they have off days. Birds are like that too, you know, you can't expect them to be 100% 
all the time. Some days just not having a good day, they may miss one or two. Don't go crazy. Don't yell, don't scream, don't go overboard and you know punish them or whatnot. Just say, oh, it's okay. Try again. Keep it positive, keep it nice. You'll find that the result you get is a lot better than if you be negative or yell at them or force them. It's just not gonna work. And the suckiest part of it all is, remember on part one we talked about bonding? If you get frustrated and start having a negative, you're actually, you know, putting your self-progress way back. Because your bird may lose trust in you and then you have to start from all over again. So if you can get to this point where you can get your bird to even, you know, get it, go to a perch on command and go to party and even be able to give them a treat, accepting that treat all together, you're pretty far along already. Just keep going with it. If they make one or two mistakes, that's okay. Just keep moving forward. Most parents live a long, long time. You have a lot of time together to make it work. Connie lives, at least I know, she doesn't like band-aid. I have a band-aid on my hand. She just keep like, Mom, that's not your hand. I know. So, yeah, you have a long time. Connie lived 20 years. African Grey lived 50 years. You know, don't let one mistake ruin your life and keep moving forward. So, that's it, guys. If you have any questions, put in a comment below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.